Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have another really quick Canva tutorial, and hopefully today's tutorial will actually be quick. Um, just a very simple thing that I want to show you. They have a somewhat new-ish feature, which is called Motion Effects. This is what it looks like. So let me start by creating a design, and I will create a story, for example. So Instagram story, there it is. And as I always do, I start by giving it a name. Insta story tutorial. And then um, here's what we're going to do just to make this quick because this is today's goal. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a design from the template instead of creating one from scratch. So this is a, a template that caught my attention. Um, so I'm just going to use that. Um, and as you see, all you have to do is click it and it gets inserted into your design. So here's what I'm talking about uh, when I talk about motion effects. So see we have all these different types of elements in this design um, we have a button some texts and um, these texts are actually um, pretty awesome um, and we have some shapes too so what i want to do is i want to add some motion effects on these shapes particularly so I will just click them, click all of them, and to select multiple elements on Canva, you can click the Shift key on your keyboard and then just click the elements that you want to select while holding the Shift key, important. That's how you end up selecting multiple elements. So when I have selected multiple elements, I will go ahead and click Animate on the top left corner and then it will show up, uh, the animation panel will show up, and it has a lot of different types of animation tools. If you scroll down, all the way down, you will find the Add Motion Effects options. And as you can see right now, I have four different options available, Rotate, Flicker, Pulse, and Wiggle. And while the elements are selected, this is really cool, if you hover over one of the effects, you can kind of see what's going to happen when you click them or when you apply them. Um, this is the flicker. It just flicks. There's a pulse. And there's a wiggle. So I personally, for this particular design, I'm liking the wiggle or the pulse. Maybe the pulse. So I will go ahead and click pulse. And then you can also select the intensity. Make it smaller or slower and then just really you know increase it and then it just really pops so i kind of like the poppy ones because the design is kind of you know crazy type poppy type so i like that and when you're done you're good to go and you can click the play button on top right corner here just to see what it's going to look like. And that's it. That's what Motion Effect does. So when you download it, download it as MP4 video, especially if you're going to add it to your Instagram stories or reels or whatever. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Just hit the download button and it will be downloaded to your computer, wherever you usually download your files. And that's how you use the motion effect. So just to, uh, just a quick recap, just make your design however you want. Use a template or do it from scratch. And then click the elements that you want to, um, you know, animate or add the motion effects to. So for example, I just added these two, added some motion effects to these elements. Now let's say that I want to do it in the text. Just select them, and if you want to select multiple elements, just uh, click the Shift button on your keyboard, and then holding the Shift button, use your mouse to select the elements that you want, and then go ahead and 
click animate. So here's the thing for elements, uh, your animation, uh, the animate buttons are going to be um, on your left side. Here's your animate. Uh, and we have the pulse animation or motion effect applied to it. But when you're adding two texts, the animation button is going to be in a different place. You kind of have to look for it because depending on which kind of what type of element you're working with, the animate button may be in a slightly different place. It can be a little confusing, but it's still there. Just look for it. And then when you click it, you know, just um, scroll down all the way to the bottom. That's where the motion effects are um, right now. And they may change it, but it's going to be somewhere. Whenever you click animate, it's going to be on the animation panel. We just have to search for the motion effects. And then you can, you know, click whichever motion effect you want. For the text, I think I'm going to go with the flicker one, like so. And then that's it. If you want to see what it looks like, click the play button on top right corner and it will show you what it's going to do. It's a very busy um, Instagram story graphic, but anyway, this is perfect for this tutorial because I want to show you what it does, what it looks like. Anyway, so that's how you make a perfectly beautiful um, animated social media story or graphic or whatever. And using the motion effect, you can quickly jazz up your design from boring to, you know, really poppy and whatnot. And that's it. Hopefully it's still, it was still a quick video, quicker than usual. And I will see you in the next video sometime next week. Bye.